Hello everyone, it's a new video from Xra. Let's solve the equation sine x plus cosine x equals the square root of 2. Actually, we will solve this equation using two different methods. The first method uses the complex numbers, and the second method is the traditional way, where we will use the trigonometric identities. Let's begin with the first method. We have sine x plus cosine x equals 2 square root of 2. We will substitute sine x by e power i x minus e power minus i x over 2i and substitute cosine x by e power i x plus e power minus i x over 2. Now the equation becomes e power i x minus e power minus i x over 2i. This is sine x plus e power i x plus e power minus i x over 2. This is cosine x and equals to square root of 2. Now let's write e i x equals to z. So we have here z minus z power minus 1, which is 1 over z, over 2i plus z plus z power minus 1, which is 1 over z, all over 2 equals 2 square root of 2. So here we have our new form of the equation. Now we can multiply by 2i, the whole equation. So here we have z minus 1 over z, plus here if you multiply by 2i, we can cancel out 2 and 2, and i will remain into, here we have z plus 1 over z equals 2, 2 multiplied by square root of 2i. Now we can multiply the whole equation by z to get, here we have z squared minus 1 plus i, here we have z squared plus 1 equals 2, 2 square root of 2 multiplied by i z. So the equation becomes z squared minus 1 plus i into z squared plus 1 equals 2, 2 radical 2 i z. So expanding this term, we have i z squared plus i, and taking this term before the equal sign, we get minus 2 square root of 2 i z. Now we have here z squared plus i z squared. We will take z squared as common to have 1 plus i into z squared minus 2 radical 2 i z, and the constant is minus 1 plus i. Here we have a quadratic equation of the form az squared minus or plus bz plus c equals to 0, where i equals 2, 1 plus i, b equals 2, minus 2 radical 2i, and c equals 2, minus 1 plus i. Now, solving this equation, first of all, we will find the discriminant delta equals 2, b squared minus 4ac b equals to minus 2 radical 2i, a equals to 1 plus i or i plus 1, and c equals to minus 1 plus i, which is i minus 1. Squaring b, we will have 8 multiplied by i squared, which is minus 1. So here we have minus 8 minus 4. Here the form is a plus b into a minus b, which is a squared minus b squared. a squared equals to i squared is minus 1 and b squared is minus 1. So here we have minus 1. Then delta equals to minus 8 minus 4 multiplied by minus 2. So minus 4 and minus 2 is 8. And here we have minus 8. And so delta equals to minus 8 plus 8, which is 0. Delta equals to 0. So we have 1 double root, which is minus b over 2a. So z equals 2 minus b over 2a. This is b, so minus b equals 2, 2 radical 2i, all over 2a, which is 2 multiplied by a is 1 plus i. We can cancel 2 and 2 to get square root of 2i all over 1 plus i. So square root 2 multiplied by i, but i is exponential power i, i over 2, all over 1 plus i, the exponential form of 1 plus i is square root of 2 
multiplied by exponential power i, pi over 4. We can cancel square root of 2 and square root of 2 from the numerator and the denominator to get ei pi over 2 all over ei pi over 4, which is ei pi over 2 minus pi over 4, and it's equal to exponential power i pi over 4. So z equals to exponential power i pi over 4. But from the first, we take z equals to eix. So here we have z equals to ei pi over 4 and z equals to e power ix. So comparing the two forms of z, we have pi over 4 equals to x. But to make it more general, we have x equals to pi over 4 plus 2 k pi, where k is an integer. Now for the second method, where we use the trigonometric identities or trigonometric formulas, we have sine x plus cosine x equals to square root of 2. We will divide the whole equation by square root of 2 to get 1 over square root of 2 sine x plus 1 over square root of 2 cosine x equals to 1. 1 over square root of 2 is the sine of 45 degree, which is sine pi over 4. Also, 1 over square root of 2 equals 2 cosine pi over 4. So the equation becomes sine pi over 4 multiplied by sine x plus cosine pi over 4 multiplied by cosine x equals to 1. Recall that cosine of a minus b equals to cosine a, cosine b plus sine a, sine b. Here we have a equals to pi over 4 and b equals to x. So this term can be written as cosine of a minus b, which is cosine of pi over 4 minus x and equals to 1. But 1 equals to also cosine of 2 pi or cosine of 2k pi, where k is an integer. And so the equation becomes cosine of pi over 4 minus x equals 2 cosine of 2 pi. And so we can write pi over 4. Here we have minus, not plus. Pi over 4 minus x equals to 2k pi. And so x will be pi over 4 minus 2k pi or plus 2k pi. Therefore, the solution of the given equation is x equals 2 pi over 4 plus 2k pi, where k is an integer. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.